Hello, my incredible, wonderful Virgos. Hi, guys. Robin is back after much trauma. I had neck surgery, and then I got a cold. <laughs> so my nasal may be a little bit weird. Babes, uh, I'm back to do your reading. This is going to carry you through the rest of March. Before This is before the Virgo moon. So we're getting it just in time, just before your moon hits. And we're going to see what the preemptive energies are for you and carry it out as long as the Spirit wants it to be known to you. Let me start my reading by hitting my bell. Okay, Virgo, a um, couple of announcements real quick. This is a love reading. It is general energy for Virgos. Now, it may or may not resonate, okay? If it does not, just throw it out. It's for someone else. Make sure that you do a well-rounded look at your personality, which would be checking out your rising sign energy and your possibly your Venus if you're concerned about love connections. And then, of course, your moon, which has to do with your emotions. It depends on your what you're needing to know, but you get you get tapping bits and pieces from other uh, psychic channelers as well. I'm just going to channel for you, and we're going to see what comes out for your well-being, okay, you guys? And the truth is, is that if you're new to my channel, welcome in and hit the subscribe button, and you'll be a, and hit the all bell so you'll get all of my notifications when I upload something new for you. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. The returning, I do not know how to thank you guys for returning to my channel, subscribers. Appreciate you so much. All your gifts. All your gifts. All the readings you've ordered from me. Oh, man. I've loved reading for you very much. I really do. I do. I'm one of those people. I do like personal readings. Unless I get overloaded. And uh, that's up to you. Now, this is a general energy. So, if you are dealing with some of this and you want clarity, I would be happy to do a reading for you. My website is listed below, and my email is listed below. I'm here to tell you that on if you're in the L.A. area, March 21st and 22nd um, <clears throat> is the Holistic Festi Festival Meet and Greet uh, for Ramblin' Mike, and I'm going to be there as well, and I'm going to be offering Reiki clearings, uh, uh, auric field resets, and readings. So it's $40 for both days, in and out as much as you want, many different events. Um, if you want more details, you can go to Ramblin' Ramblin Mike's, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on my community channel, and I'll probably post um, information on how you can get tickets and where it will be located in the box below. Thank you for being here. Here we go. We're going to start with love for Virgo, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I wish you love, I wish you wholeness, I wish you happiness, I wish you the right person, I wish you better income and better health, I wish you to connect better with your spirit guides, I wish you to be more loving towards yourself, I wish you just unlimited goodness, and a lot of that you're going to have to do to manifest that you get in alignment with the universe. Here's your cards. Let's see what your energies are, okay, my loves? Religious factors. Maybe somebody's of a different faith or belief than you. It's about, definitely about love. But there may be someone who's dealing with the ba balancing out a new love with their family traditions and your family traditions your traditions, maybe studying someone else's faith in order to see how if you could actually spend your life with them. Because there's definitely chemistry here. It's magic. See, look, she's got a gold crown around her orb, around her head. So she's feeling the magic of a divine connection somehow. But there is faith involved. Spiritual path, spiritual path. Um, sometimes on our spiritual path there may be chemistry, but what you might find is that it isn't so much about religion 
as it is about understanding each other. And it isn't so much um, about whether you do or do not love them. It is about elevation and frequency as well. Because as your faith <clears throat> elevates, your frequency gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And it's impossible for you to be with somebody. You'll find that spiritually. It's almost impossible to be around or to try to work with somebody who has a very low frequency and refuses to raise their vibration to be around you. If you think of it in that terms, it'll be a lot easier for you to express your love, whether it be acceptance or whether it be going for, forward in your relationship, really taking that gamble, really taking that, that chance. So go ahead and make that romantic gesture is what they're saying. So with that, I'm going to bring you some Lenormand cards, okay? I hope I do get to see you guys in Burbank. That'd be so cool. It's at the uh, VFW in Burbank. It's going to be really special. I think you're going to be blown away by what everybody brings. Uh, different classes and courses on tarot, different uh, psychic work, different holistic things. I'm bringing homemade incense, and I'm bringing sacred, holy uh, cleansing bath oil and hand wash you do not use it on your face but you can use it in your bath to cleanse old energies to purify your spiritual body as well as your physical body you will come out feeling better um, use it on your hands before you do any kind of healing work meditations uh, the spray is amazing i'll tell you what's in it but i'm not telling you everything so the uh the holy the sacred holy spray that i'm bringing and making it's got sea salt oil, black amber lavender, nag champa, and palo santo oils. And they're in a proprietary brand. It's just beautiful, healthy, chemical-free. You put it in your bath. You wash your hands with it. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look and see what these energies are for you. Let's get to your message now. Tying this together, there is communication here about this. Um, maybe you're studying someone's faith. Maybe you're waiting for them to make you an offer of some kind, or you're writing letters or you're journaling. This here, expressing your love, is finally feeling safe around somebody. There was some experience you had that makes you have reticent and held back a little bit, not giving your all because you're like, maybe they're sneaky, maybe they don't mean anything. Maybe they don't mean anything. This is uh, something you need to take notice of because this is sometimes not a very good luck charm. In this deck, it's not. It spells trouble. So you really should take, you know, you should be really examining your situation to see what that is. All right. So I'm going to be reading the tarot part of this and clarifying this with my Egyptian tarot. I'm also going to be doing um, how Virgo gets along with every other sign. And it's going to be like an immediate you versus them. I'll just tell you what shows up. It's not elongated because it's just another portion of the reading here. Catch you guys up. Time is of no consequence. When you see this, you are meant to see this. And I send you love. Tell me about the religious factors in the letter, please, spirit. Tell me about the religious factors in the letter, please, for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Hanged Man. Sitting and waiting for some information to come. Enlightenment. Knowledge. Waiting for uh, some awareness to come about for you. Um, let's see what it is. Give me more information, please. Thank you. Knight of Swords. This is fast action. This is someone who comes to deliver that message. And they deliver it really, really fast and abrupt. So I see that as really probably getting some education. Someone's teaching you. They may be abrupt. You may not like the way they're teaching you, whatever that is. Uh, you might have a little issue with an air sign, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is Pisces. Um, this is, I mean, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with that as well. Tell me if this is. Clarify that. The sun. There you are. There's Leo as well, but the sun represents healing. So whatever this knowledge is, whatever this letter is, 
It's intended for your healing. So let's find out what this Express Your Love is about, please. For my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Thank you. Scoochies over a minute. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please show me what this is. Okay, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Again, that makes perfect sense. Someone's ready to come out and accept some kind of an offer. Tell me about this offer. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, tell me about the offer. Three of Wands, I'd like to build with you. I'd like to, I look forward to my time with you. I look forward to building, expressing, um, spending time with you. You make me feel like I'm growing. That is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you might be dealing with them. Tell me about this. Clarify that. The Emperor is in reverse. That's not a good sign. I'll pull other clarifiers on this. Tell me about this possible bad luck that's showing up here with this chemistry. It could be someone has maybe bringing about something in a relationship they shouldn't be doing. They have chemistry with another person and they might be bringing it into the relationship or bringing in baggage from somebody and it causes terrible dissension somewhere. That could be happening as well. I'm just channeling you guys. I don't know this story. Because I could be speaking to one of you. I could be speaking to a thousand of you. I don't know, my darlings. But it is showing up. Tell me about it. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this person's not going to put the energy in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're, or they might be telling you not to. You will not get back what you put into it. Why? Because the Five of Wands is in reverse. So you're dealing with an, a fire sign that is trying to get over something energy, energetic elsewhere. They're bringing it to your space. You're like, what the hell? Where did all this bad luck come from? Where did this bad juju come from? Uh, I can't do this. I, I don't know if I can do this. There may be passion, but there's conflict of interest. And there's no reciprocity. Maybe it's not a long term. You know, Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of uh, Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know what you're doing. Clarify for me. Queen of Swords. Somebody's cutting somebody off. They're going to they're gonna end something right, too sweet, right away. They're going to end it right away. And they're going to bring a change to the situation that someone's going to probably end the relationship. I, I learned all I needed to know. I think I was treated with total disrespect. I think that you got an ego problem that cannot be repaired. I don't know if I'm up to that kind of ego shit just, just because of your religion. Uh, we're having a bad time here. You're not giving me the kind of energy I need back. You're not... Uh, there's no full investment here with me, and I'm feeling uncomfortable and ungrounded. Unfair is what I feel. It's unfair energy. Even though I'm getting knowledge and I'm getting wiser, doesn't mean that I'm happier. All right, tell me what this, uh, clarify this letter and religious factors. Hangman, Knight of Swords, and Sun is. I'm using a small version of the Easy to Row. It's about the unseen factors, the things that are being hidden from you or having some kind of a mindset of fantasy and saying, well, I'm just going to give this a shot. I'm crazy. I have chemistry for this person. I need a husband or I need a wife, but you cannot compromise your future and your happiness just to be with somebody mysterious. You may have chemistry for them, but are they really the one is what I'm hearing. Because I have the King of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Four of Cups in reverse. There is a, a wanting here uh, from love. Um, what is this? Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Well, someone's now, they want to open up and it's too late for somebody. 
I don't know where that came from. All right. Um, keep going. Then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So cutting somebody off is never an easy thing to do. Cutting something off, it's like the bride does all this work because he convinced, this, this groom convinces her that he's the right one for her. Uh, but she finds out there was somebody he wouldn't let go of or she wouldn't let go of and it caused a lot of inner conflict and that person couldn't give me their all attention and there's somebody in the picture who's got a huge ego which is going to be a conflict of my peace of mind. I don't want to be in this fantasy. I want to be with someone who can give me their full heart. Um, let me draw clarifiers on the king. And the four pinnacles in reverse. And the ten of swords. Wow. Alright, so the king of cups is covered by the three, four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taking a break. Taking time out. Before deciding, going into deep meditative prayer, asking for fulfillment in the spirit, asking for refreshment and healing, talking to the divine. The four of pentacles in reverse may be open, but they're not creating anything because the four of wands is in reverse too. So something has been turned over. The, the wedding is off. Um, someone's getting over there. Their pain, they feel stabbed in the back, but they aren't really, and somebody's not talking anymore. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, clarify that for me, please. Every All these reversals. Then I'll do the quick rundown. Seven of Pentacles. Looking back on what was created. Being proud of the experience anyway, and the knowledge, and what you got out of this. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This shit's over. That cycle's over. I don't feel strong enough to deal with you, Leo. Um, not feeling so strong around a Virgo. Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody might have won something, but they're uh, repeatedly bringing an energy to you you don't want. And, of course, Three of Cups in reverse is someone who won't give up a third party. Three of Wands on top of that. Someone who won't give up a third party. Knight of Swords in reverse, and they're not talking about it. But there's happiness there. So somebody's, wow, last card came out as judgment. So some of you will take this, take somebody back, but they have to perform, they have to come back rested, prayed up, working on the relationship, bringing you joy, bringing you truth and not fantasy, and meeting you more than halfway. That's what I got. All right, my loves, let's do this quick rundown while I got a chance. It's not... I hope I have enough time. I did a pretty long reading on your hair. I hope I have time to do this. All right, let's do it. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and everybody else. Here we go. You and Aries. This is what I thought. Aries is the emperor. You're not looking back anymore at this one. You're letting Aries go for whoever that is in your life, okay? You're letting them go. They like to fight, cause conflict. You and Taurus, you're not partying too much. They're off wandering, waiting for something else to happen. They might be hanging out with a fire sign. You and Gemini. Gemini's teaching you some things. They're very knowledgeable. They're talking to you about, they're thinking very hard about coming in and making an offer. Uh, to you, you're in the, you're doing good with the um, air signs, Virgo. All right, you and Cancer. It's not happening. You're not offering a pinnacle, and they're not working on it. You and Leo. You're the hero font. You're not in your. You're all up in your faith thing, and you're like, no, I don't have any faith in this relationship. But they want to keep talking to you. What are you going to do about it? You're not going to revive it. All right, you. Did I say Leo? Let's say Leo. You are very happy. But we have a Leo who's ready to come out and offer something. Yep, you might do very well in spite of what this says. Did I say, did I say Leo? Oh, God. Okay, Virgo and Virgo. You're not giving your cup. This person's got a lot of energy. Um, 
they're very busy, they're working on their businesses. Why is your Ace of Cups in reverse? Because you can't seem to make up your mind where you want to go, um, and you're holding back from that. Okay, Virgo and Libra. Justice, here you go. Very good. Very victorious situation. Again, you have the swords. Very good. Then you have Virgo and Scorpio. Knight of Wands, this is you coming and going, coming and going. She's not bringing anything to the table. Nope. Can't manifest with you. Virgo and Sag, Sag you're not offering a pentacle, even though they make you feel happy. Virgo and Capricorn, you're not making an offer to them because you know that they're going to stay single and they're not going to accept. Then we have Virgo and Aquarius. You're not feeling this. You're not able to make anything happen with the Aquarius and they're walking away. Virgo and Pisces. You have come out of a season of rest. You are not dealing with them. They are, they've made a choice. You don't want to fight anymore and they want to work on it. But you are given up because you're done with slander and hardship from somebody. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I'm reading for. Bless you. Okay, let me give you some guidance cards before we close your reading. This is from, this is my goddess oracle decks. Virgo, someone rising in Venus, we need a message on them spiritually, please. What is the guidance for the goddess energy, please? For Virgo, someone rising in Venus. Got an itch on my eye. Oh my gosh. It's only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You're guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You're not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it. One more spirit card, and that would be my meditation shamanic guidance. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. This is March energy, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I totally understand this reading. I have Virgo rising, so I feel this very much. Um, not necessarily my understanding. My understanding is a lot more to do with what you do or do not have faith in, right? And that's important, I guess, what you do or do not have faith in. I love you guys. I haven't told you. I hope you're doing well, and again, if you want a personal reading, I'm available up until the 20th, so let me know if you want a reading. Okay, here we go. Freeze up, moon. What does this mean? Identity, self-discovery, and vulnerability. Wow. Boy, you learn how strong you are, huh? Being put in vulnerable positions and maybe not told the truth all the time. But let's see what they say from the guide because I don't know. All right, let's see. Virgo, someone rising in Venus. We've got number 26, makes out to number 8. <clears throat> like the snake shedding its skin, Freeze Up Moon represents letting go of outworn roles to reveal your true identity. It's very easy to get caught up in playing the roles prescribed by others. But if you continue to play along, sacrificing your true self, sooner or later you're going to lose yourself. The Freeze Up Moon card signifies an opportunity to get back in touch with your inner self. Courage and patience are required to let go of the roles that have been smothering your inner light. Shedding the old skin may leave you feeling somewhat vulnerable. The people around you who have grown accustomed to your old roles may resist your change. But remember, this is their fear and uncertainty, not yours. So stand firm, listen to the higher self, and let it guide you along your path of self-discovery. As you allow the parts of your true identity to emerge, you will feel your spirit lighten. This is where freedom in true... This is... Real freedom and true creative expression. How about that advice? That's beautiful and divine. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Virgo. I love you. Thank you so much. Check out my Patreon, too. I do a monthly 
monthly drawing for free readings and gifts. And I hope to see you at the event. Blessings. Love you. Namaste. Bye.